Hi friends, it's Hannah, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to be taking a ceramic thrifted swan planter and turning it into a blackened bronze swan with a blue patina. I'm using sophisticated finishes in a blackened bronze, and I absolutely love the color. There is no other darkened bronze or blackened bronze that can match this color. The other thing that I love so much about it is that you can paint it directly onto ceramic or glass and it's extremely durable. It even holds up well to the elements outside. The other thing is you can paint fabric with it. So if you want to paint canvas or fabric, it stays malleable and soft if you paint it onto fabric. After giving the swan a complete coat of the darkened bronze finish on the outside, I paint the inside of the planter as well. And once I'm finished with that, this is how the swan looks with the first coat. And now we're going to add the second coat because it gives it that beautiful blackened bronze that dries to almost a black finish. Unfortunately, I lost some of the footage, but I add Tim Holtz Distressed Oxide Spray in a blue patina to add the patina to my swan. I use a fine paintbrush and I go into the crevices and I don't like to spray it. It comes in a spray bottle, but I don't like that mottled look. And my favorite way of applying it to large surfaces is to do it with my fingertip. I just add a little bit of the patina onto my fingertip and I have so much control over where I put the color and how shaded it is and how light and dark it is. So I really enjoy applying that this way. And once I have finished adding the patina everywhere that I want for it to be, I go back in with the blackened bronze and strategically hit some of the high spots to give it that dark black glossy look and I want it to I don't want it to look perfect I want it to look like it's been out in the elements so I'm just hitting some of the spots with more bronze and taking away some of that patina so that the patina doesn't look like it's been laid down so perfectly it i want it more to look like it has aged naturally outside in the elements and i am loving the way that this swan looks i love these two colors i was originally going to use the sophisticated finishes uh, patina but I only had the green patina, not the blue one, and I wanted this swan to have a blue patina, and that's why I chose the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, and it worked beautifully with this piece. The camera doesn't do it justice. This really looks like a heavy metal piece of bronze that has been outside in the weather and here it is once it's dry and she looks absolutely beautiful here is a before and after picture to remind you what she looked like before we began the process i added succulents and long branches to the swan and i think she looks beautiful but you can leave her as is or add your choice of florals I so enjoyed making this project for you, and I hope that it inspires you to make something beautiful. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you 
next time.